Well, there are more than 177 countries represented at the World Junior Championships this week, and some athletes are representing war-torn countries. And sometimes different sides of the same war competing against each other. KZI 9 News anchor Bob Shaper got the athlete's take on the politics of sports. Separate the po political issues from the sport. Bader Nassen, a coach from the Middle Eastern island of Bahrain, says athletic events should welcome all nations, regardless of politics. Because sports is a different issue. Sports gets the people together. Stand outside the athlete's village on the university campus, and you'll hear the same sentiment expressed over and over by the athletes and coaches who pass by. Once the game's over, everybody's going to continue to go back to that battle, but for these 10 days, or no, well, seven days of competition, I think everybody just wants to go out and produce the best team they can. Well, we don't feel any competition. No, not, no. It's only yeah. sports, yeah. nothing else. Even the 100 meter relay team for the Netherlands, which lost over 100 citizens in the downing of Malaysia Flight 17, said they hold no ill feelings toward any other team. They did no. nothing wrong to us, so. No. And I don't like what? Ilya Tarantiev, a hammer thrower from the Russian Federation, a country accused by some of participating in the takedown of MH17, says politics does not interest him, only sports. After this conflict, we will be friends. You will be friends again? Again, yes. Volunteer ambassadors from the university have been working with teams to help them bridge any cultural gaps or misunderstandings. We have about 1,700 athletes and they're coming here and, and enjoying themselves and competing um, with virtually no issues so far. Sports and goodwill bring everybody together. Gersh Gregory, the javelin coach for Israel, whose army is right now fighting a war with Hamas, says politicians can learn a lot from athletes. It's a good idea. <laughs> In Eugene, Bob Shaper, KZI 9 News. Bob tells us so far only one international incident has been reported. An Asian coach says she was dishonored by being publicly, publicly chastised by a cafeteria worker for taking too much fruit.